This is the only gate we really choose to go through. We don't have to leave identification. No armed guards. Only a few uh, cows and their calves around. The only danger is uh, stepping in something like that right there. It is Saturday night, right? Saturday night, finally. Again. Margarita Again. night. Margarita night, and look where we are. We're down to three little Indians left. Started out with ten little Indians. Then there were seven, then there were six, then there were five. Now we're at three. Oh. All right. Cheers. Here's to the three Hello. of us. Here comes our local pastor, the right Reverend Case. I just phoned you an hour ago. You must be on your way out here then. Yeah, I stopped by the uh, camp hill over there. How we get our stash in here. And right up beyond this, 100 feet or so, it's a trail up to the beach. So, this is how we've been doing it. All right, here we are. We finished up our last deal of camping and we're heading, just went and picked up the last of our equipment from that we had hidden in the mangroves, taking them back down the vena. And uh, for those of you gorilla campers that want to try it next year, these are some of the things you need, of course. A boogie board, a bucket to haul your water in, stove, rake, there's a shovel there, beer cooler, sometimes doubles as a food cooler, a tent, a little umbrella for the beach, water bottles, we got water bottles here, the hammock and solar panel there, tarps of course, and of course a couple, at least a couple of cases of beer. And um, these are all things that you need for gorilla camping on Tanakatita at this time. With any luck it'll change by next season. And uh, we need as much support down here as possible so we can get in on this thing next year. Uh, catch you all on the flip side. Bye.